Just getting everything all set up here. Bringing you guys up on my iPad so I can see if you leave me any messages. There we go. Hi everybody, it's me Genevieve uh, with Thunderbird Handcrafted. Today we are going to be sewing together the pack pouch, which is this really cute little wristlet pouch uh, by uh, Kay, I'm going, I'm going to batch up her last name, Ascona, Ascona, I hope I said it right, Kim, I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, so she, her pattern, a Kay, as, oh goodness, K Ascona Designs, goodness gracious. Um, I do have the link in the details if you want to go get the um, pattern. And as of the live today, I think, I think it's until tomorrow that it's 20% off. So if you do want the pattern, um, I would definitely say go grab it today so that you can get it today uh, at the discount. But if you're watching this after April 11th, 2023, um, Patterns are really not that expensive and all the work that goes into someone making a pattern um, It's worth the money. Just just give them the money um, So we're gonna be making this cute little pouch and so it it's called the pack pouch and you might be able to see why because it has this really cute for all my fellow 80s kids um, Has this really cute little pac-man looking look um i think you could do it for so many other things like um the fabric that i'm using right now uh is from my little shindig my girl katie uh and this was part of our freaking fabulous fabric club but she also does have what she has left on retail and you are able to pre-order it um i do think that this would be really cute with also um my little shindig has taco fabric how cute would this look if with if it was like the um tortilla you could totally do something fun with the taco fabric on the back i am using so awesome supplies they have this really beautiful velvet and i thought this red would really just make the bag pop so that's what we're using um in the freaking fabulous fabric club you do get um a little bit bigger than fat quarters six different prints um so i highly suggest um i it's one of my favorite subscriptions um because it's just always there's always such cute fabric and you can really use it for anything and i feel like the just a little bit uh bigger than fat quarter allows you to do a lot of different things with it whether you're in bag making or you're doing home decor um and there's always a cute little pattern that comes along with it, a free pattern. Um, and so we did get this pattern free um, because Kim made it specifically the pattern. She um, saw the fabric and was like, oh, we need we need a cute bag to go with it. So I'm really excited that Kim allowed me to be able to um, do this pattern live on a sew along. So I'm excited that all of you are here and that we can make this together. So I have all my pieces cut out here. In the freaking fabulous uh, fabric club, we did get our zipper tape uh, as well as a zipper pull came along with it. Um, so I'm going to pull that out of my little baggie here. We're going to throw our earrings on because I was just doing other stuff. So we're going to put our earrings in. Not that it matters, but we're just going to put them in. Um, I am sewing this bag today on my Sailrite Fabricator. That's right here. This bag definitely, most definitely wouldn't, you would not need an industrial machine. You could totally be sewing this on your domestic machine. Um, even with the So Awesome Supplies um, Velvet. So I I have an, um, this is Cassine's Handcrafted, her um, so fuse on the back of this. Um, so this is really light. So you could totally do this on a domestic as well. So we're gonna you have to grab the pattern. And this is a pretty quick sew. Hopefully it won't be like last week when we were trying to do the zip and grip uh, with the TPU vinyl. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, but yeah, this is a, a fun pattern, I think. Oh my gosh, there's so many different um, like 
fabric pattern designs that you could be doing. We're gonna grab our drink. We were very busy here today. We, um, I, exciting, exciting things happening here at the Thunderbird Farm. Okay, so today, just real quickly, um, so again, my name is Genevieve, uh, and this is my channel. Thank you for joining me live. Um, the Thunderbird Handcrafted is uh, a part of our family farm. So our farm is the Thunderbird Farm uh, PA. We are located in central, south central Pennsylvania. Uh, and uh, we have a glamping farm here. And then we also do a lot of other fun things. Um, and I have uh, I've sewn for close to 20 years. I've been a part of the fashion industry. Um, crafting has always been a part of my therapy. And what I do to just kind of set myself and, and reset myself. Um, so I always say that crafting is most definitely the healing part. Uh, I do feel, and I haven't been sharing this on my lives, and I'm like, you know what, I need to start sharing that. Um, the healing part for doing this pattern and sharing this pattern was building more connection. So Kim, Katie, um, really just building connection with others uh, within the community. Um, I did not know that Kim, that her job was in marketing and sales, uh, and that is some of my background. So we, her and I have a lot in common, a lot to probably chat about and geek out about. So that was really wonderful. So I just think, you know, sometimes we, I think maybe we maybe take that for granted, the community that is a part of whatever it is uh, as far as our hobbies and things like that. So um, Kim, thank you again. Um, and please everyone go and grab this pattern. Um, the link again is in the details of the video. So you can see the pattern here. I'm just going to show you. Um, it opens up into a, a nice big pouch. So you go in the top and the bottom, you know, chomp, chomp. Uh, and so it's just a nice circle pouch. Pretty easy um, to do. So we're going to get started with the wristlet piece. That's the first step. And I'm doing mine a little different um, than Kim's because I'm using the key fob um, pieces. So I'm gonna grab my, I'm using a piece of the velvet to do that. I'm gonna turn you guys down so we can get started together. And if you're watching this on the replay, um, I am offering, I'm gonna give away this bag that I'm making today. Or if this bag that I'm making today does not turn out okay, I'm gonna give away the one I already made. So um, if you go over to my free Facebook group, which is uh, the Thunderbird Handcrafted over on Facebook, I do have a link in my bio for that. Um, and there is a post in there with an event. Uh, and I do have a pinned, Pac-Man post. It has Pac-Man on there. If you comment on that post with my secret word, okay, and my secret word is when I was a kid, the reason this brings back memories, uh, this fabric, is every Friday night, my mom, because um, my parents were divorced, I would go with my mom and her good friend, Mark. Um, he was just a friend, not a boyfriend. He just always... Um, Took my mom out, mom and me out on a Friday night to go to the movies and for pizza. And the name of the pizza place that we went to was Dominic's. So if you put Dominic's in the comment comments, you'll be entered to win this pouch. Um, it was just uh, such good memories there as a kid. And, uh. Gosh, like I live in the same town, so uh, sometimes I just get a craving on a Friday night for Dominic's Pizza. So I'm just gonna um, fold this inward with my sticky tape, and then we're gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna grab a clip or two to put on this. But they always had arcade games there in the 80s. Eventually, they only had like the pinball machine. Um, but, gosh, memories. 
Tell me, is there some place that you went to play arcade games? If you're a kid from the 80s, is there some place in your hometown? So I'm just doing a top stitch down both sides yeah. of this piece for my key fob. I actually have to go get one, not get that piece of hardware out. I'm using this bright yellow thread uh, that I have from Sunny Sewing Machines. Part of me when I when I do it on the red, it's like yeah. it's like ketchup and mustard, um, but it's still cute. Hey, Diana, girl, you're not late. You're right on time. Um, let's see here. I do have another key up here. Um, yeah, no, every Friday night we went to the movies and then we went for pizza. And for a while, one of my favorite games, they for a while they did have Pac-Man. That was mostly when I was a lot younger because I am I am a kid of the 80s, but I by the time I was old enough, the 80s were halfway over. So I was born in 1981. Yeah. So by the time I like full full memories, it was at least 1986. And so Pac-Man wasn't there was a Miss Pac-Man there for a while, which with this pattern, um, Kim actually put in it like a little bow. So you could totally make a Miss Pac-Man. I saw some people in her group did a Miss Pac-Man, which was really cute. So there are little accessories that are part of this pattern, which I did not do, but so cute. So, okay, I have my key fob fabric. I have my little ta uh, attachment tag here. And now we're going to work on the piece that is for the wristlet strap. So I could iron this, but I think I'm just going to finger press it and fold it in on itself. put some clips. And all my interfacing that I'm using on this is the um, Sew Fuse from Castine's Handcraft. And Monica is so nice. I met her at So Magical. And I really love, I really love this, her Sew Fuse. Um, I like her Sew Fuse Plus as well. I feel like one, it it makes it just sturdy enough because my sail right definitely needs something to bite into. Um, I can't just sew cotton woven on it on my sail right. She just doesn't make her happy. I probably, if I maybe if I changed a needle, it would be okay. All right. So I'm just going to. Stitch down both sides with a top stitch on the wristlet. I love these little ghosts. Does anybody know the name of the ghosts? <laughs> I heard it the other day. It was on um, on Jimmy Fallon. It, I'm totally, I think the one's name is Earl or something like that. Like there, three of them are named like very similar names. And then like the fourth one is named like something like goofy.
And now since I'm using a key fob, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just going to, it's almost like, I kind of line up the one top stitch with the other top stitch, like so. And then I'm going to just, right at the very end here, do kind of a back, back and forth stitch just to hold them together until it's time for me to put the key fob together. I'll do that at the very end. So you can see, like I have it like so, and then when it's time for me to put it together, I'm gonna just stick it in like that and then press this down with my press and then that gives me a nice wristlet. So we're gonna set this to the side. Such a gorgeous day here in Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. So nice. So nice. Too nice. All right, so now we need our bottom piece as well. I hear Apollo. I don't know what he's he's crying about. Apollo, come here, buddy. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember what, which, which was lining and which was exterior. What I decide I was do, decided I was doing. That's interior, I think. This is exterior. Oh, I think Apollo's like shut out. My husband left and shut him out. Okay. Let me go let him in because he's going to cry, cry, cry because he's going to want mama. I'll be right back. shut him out when dad went to work he doesn't like that <laughs> all right so we're gonna get our triangle piece that looks like this this is on the bottom and then we're gonna get this other tri triangle piece now it does say in the pattern to have this piece be um like a coordinating piece of fabric i don't think i think this was the first one i cut out and i realized i didn't have a coordinating piece but we're just going to use it we're going to see how it looks at the end. It's all going to go together. Not going to be so much of a Pac-Man. It's just going to be the circle of the game. So we are going to piece these together like so. Just a couple clips to hold it together. And then we're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. If you're making this, I'd love to know um, what fabrics you're using like if you are using the freaking fabulous fabric club fabrics or if you're using other fabrics of, of your own and then we're gonna back stitch the beginning and the, and the end and if you're doing this together if you're sewing this with me oh the UPS guy's here um, I'd love for you to post a picture, um, when you're done. All right. So now I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to top stitch this right here. He sounds like a big, scary boy. But he's not. All right. So we're going to top stitch. just like that okay and then we are going to get our piece that is for where is that this is for our zipper so we're gonna just place this piece right sides together 
just like so. I'm very excited about starting to dye my own fabrics, to sell my own fabrics. This morning we went and visited a manufacturer um, who has really gorgeous weights of different fabrics. Uh, I can't wait to test, I'm gonna test dye them. So I'm really excited about that. But the outdoor workshop is not fully functioning yet. All right, so we're gonna also do a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, right across the top, I'm just changing my stitch length from a top stitch to more of a stay stitch. And we're gonna back stitch at the beginning and the end. Same here, I'm just gonna finger press it over and we're gonna top stitch that. Looking good, looking good. There we have it. How's everybody else doing? Your Jordy's barking in the background because Apollo at the window. <laughs> yeah. Aw. So sweet. Um, yeah, my guy. He's a barker. I don't know how to how to fix that. Um, not bark he doesn't bark on a lot, but the the UPS guy, he's like you're coming too close, mister. You're coming too close. All right. So in the My Little Shindig um, club kit, we got our piece of zipper tape, okay? And the zipper tape is cut to the actual length of um, your piece here. Now, in the pattern, I will say that the cut length for the zipper tape is different um, than what we received in the kit. I highly recommend, let me, let me measure this. I think this, yeah, so this is a nine inch zipper tape. Um, I feel like that's a good way to go. Um, and then you do have these zipper, um, tab ends. Um, so, you know, we're just going to do those like, um, we normally do them, which is right sides to, oh, wait, what are we forgetting here, you guys? We're forgetting our zipper pull. So I always look for which end of my teeth is higher than, um, the other, and then that's the side that I kind of go in first, and then I go in the other side, and then that way, when I push, usually... Yeah, when I push down on it from the top, it should even itself out so that it's not wonky. Yeah, there you go. And then I I always, for my zipper ends, because this is nylon, it'll, it'll burn itself down so that it's not fraying. Okay. And so now I'm going to take my zipper tabs and I'm just gonna place them right sides together. And I'm just gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. You could do a little bit bigger if you wanted to. You could do a 3 8 inch. Maybe I'll do that. Just because I like a little bit, I like to see some of my, my tab. I think I'm getting I think we're gonna be playing some bobbin, 
bobbin stuff here. I'm trying to make sure that it's even and not crooked here. Okay. And then once you have it stitched down, then you can fold it over this side, fold it like so. I'm making sure, oh, I'm making sure you can see me. Fold it over. So I'm gonna fold this over and then I'm gonna fold this like so to meet. Okay. Get a little clip just to hold it in place. And then I'm just gonna top stitch right over the top of that. Last week, at, last week, or was it the weekend? What day was that? So I've been sewing some other things. Uh, it's prom season here. I don't know if it's prom, it's probably prom season a lot of places. And that becomes the time of year when everybody knows that you sew. And it's like, hey, yes, Bob and Roulette. Oh, hi, Kim. No worries. Hey, girl, it's been one of those days here too. So do not apologize. We're working on our zipper here. So my niece, I no longer have, well, I do have a daughter, but she's at college. I'm no longer dealing with the prom season stuff for my daughter, but now my niece is a junior. And uh, she's like, Aunt Jenna, <laughs> can you hem my dresses <laughs> for the spring dances? Oh, I only do it for family, you guys. Only family. But both of her dresses were knit. And so I had to... Dun, dun, dun. Re-thread the serger. <laughs> Which... Uh, we, I, I got through it. But... Just the thought of re-threading the serger is like... And I hear that bobbin. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Do I have another? Yeah, I do. I have another one made. Okay. So we have our zipper. We have our two zipper ends put on there. Okay. We're going to be a little bit over now. Okay. With those zipper ends, but that's okay. All right. And so this is not in the pattern. So I don't know if Kim condones this or not, but I, I always notch my stuff just slightly just so I know where the center is. Like just teeny, 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 especially on your zippers, okay? Just teeny tiny. And then I'm gonna do the same here, find my center. Okay, and then that way I can line those up and I want it to, when I flip it around, I want it to open to the right, so I gotta make sure that that's what it's going to do, okay? So I have my zipper. I'm gonna clip that just one time in place because the next thing I need is the lining piece for this, okay? So here's the lining piece for this. I'm going to also notch this. Right? Am I correct, Kim? I think I'm correct. Yes. All right. And so I want to line that up centered. And we're just going to clip the zipper in place. This is really so cute. Like, Oh, no, I feel like this bag you could totally it's a pretty quick sew so 
I could have seen myself with my daughter for like one of her sleepovers or even for my Girl Scouts. I feel like this pattern would be a good, it's a good beginner pattern. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of opportunities with it. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I'm, should we check our bobbin? Should we check our bobbin? Did you add your fleece? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, the fleece I added to the lining instead of to this piece just because I knew I was going to need to have. Um, so here, let me just tell y'all. The pattern will tell you the fleece should be added here. I added it to my liner just because I didn't want to have to stop for, for this uh, for the live. So your fleece should go here so it's on the outside I put it on my liner so that I wouldn't need to stop and I probably could have done that zipper I probably 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 but we're just gonna say let's put a new bobbin on <laughs> all right I'm still getting used to my hair being cut, y'all. I got my hair cut last Thursday, and my hair was so long, and now I'm like, I can still pull it back in a ponytail, but definitely getting used to having it, like, still in my face a little bit. All right, let's see here. We're going to do a quarter-inch seam allowance. We're going to follow that zipper. When we get to the zipper under here, if you've never, I have a narrow foot on my sail, right? So I'm usually, I'm usually fine. Like I don't need to do a whole lot of like maneuvering around. But when you get to your zipper, you wanna make sure that your needle is down. And then that way you can go under here and move your zipper out of the way so that you get a nice clean stitch. And back stitch at the beginning and the end. So that zipper, I'm just gonna lift up. I'm gonna move it out of the way. And now we can keep, keep going. All right. And now, I'm gonna clip our stitches. And now we're gonna take our lining and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna finger press our front, All right? And what I like to do here, just because my first one, you need to make sure that everything is lined up nice so that your circle looks nice, okay? So I highly recommend before top stitching this that you clip kind of to just keep this all in place. Okay, and then we're gonna just top stitch right across where our zipper is. And I need to make sure that I turn my patterns pages because y'all, if I don't do that, There we go. My pattern was turned around. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna top stitch this. And 
and there we go. Okay, so we have that piece. And I know Kim, they were all sharing, they're super cute, super cute poles that are uh, Pac-Man poles. Um, oh, I wonder if I did put my zipper on incorrectly there because now it's gonna close over here. Yeah, well, it's all right. I don't think that, it doesn't matter as much because I think I'm gonna put my, yeah, that works just fine. Okay, so we got this, we got our, we need our top. We need our top, right? Goodness. Here it is. We're on page 12, Jenna. Okay, so we want to align our um, stabilizer. This is where I do need the pattern piece because I did not listen to Kim when I was putting my um, putting my stabilizer in. So there's a piece of the pattern where you have to fold it over. So I am using the pattern to do that. And we're just gonna clip it, clip it good. And then we're gonna top stitch that. is ingenious Kim. This part of making the little hidden zipper area, that's why I don't design patterns because I never ever would have thought of this. So there's, this is our top. All right. So this is the magic. All right. We're going to take this piece here and put it. So now our Zipper is hidden in there. So smart. So smart. Okay. Which I want to find my center again. All right, so now, and if you need to use double-sided tape here, this is this is definitely where you use double-sided tape, okay? But I found that it worked pretty good. I didn't really need to use double-sided tape. Okay. Now here's where I'm meaning the bridge on top front piece right it's together. So this piece here is now we need to do this piece so it goes there, okay? So, okay, and I'm just gonna fold this over, make sure I have my zipper in there nice to keep it straight. And I'm just gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. Nope, and I need to change my stitch, stitch length. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. get to your zipper just keep your needle down So 
so genius. I mean, genius. Okay, so now, that right? I do that correctly. I'm just gonna top stitch this back here because I don't need I don't oh I just lost my tag. I don't want to top stitch correct, Kim. Uh-oh, I better look. I better look at what I'm doing here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just top stitching this part. I know it's so funny to have like the pattern person on here. <laughs> it's similar technique you oh yeah 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 just tops just the back yeah yeah okay I'm good I'm good I like having the pattern designer on here I can I can ask everybody ask Kim questions <laughs> oh And then the same with this, you just want to line, try to get the pouch, like everything lined up real nice. Just add those clippies. Okay, so there we have our front piece. I did, I did pretty good with my pattern match in there. I, I tried to do that. You see, I see, I tried. I try to do that. <laughs> um, I did pretty good. This is the only place I didn't do. Didn't do the best. And there, it does the lines don't line up. But almost, we almost did it. We almost did it. And that's what matters. All right. So now we're going to add our wristlet piece, okay? And you know, this is a Pac-Man, so you know, this isn't this isn't the the center right here. Okay, this isn't where we want it. We want it to be more like up in here. Okay. So I'm gonna leave a little overhang. And I'm just gonna have like an eighth of an inch there. I just want to get it on there. I'm just gonna stitch this back and forth. Yeah. Do you ever start something and you're like, boy, this is taking forever. Guys, that is how I feel about what's going on with um, my hand-dyed fabric with the Backyard Workshop. Something that I thought was going to be much quicker <sighs> was not quicker. All right, so I think for, I, I gotta set this aside for a second. I'm gonna set our, our front area to the side and I'm gonna get our back I need to put my tag on the back. And again, this um, velvet that I'm using is from So Awesome Supplies. She's super sweet, by the way. Um, I got black and I got red, and I just thought this red went really well with the little red ghosty that was on um, this fabric. I'm gonna put my tag on the back. Just top stitch the, yeah, oh, I read that already. <laughs> I was like, Kim's telling me to do something. 
yes very very nice i i think the red went really well with this and i have my little tag my little cork tag from um heartwood and hide jade was the first person to really be able to get my wings that are on my logo correct all right and I usually start my tag in the center top just so it, it, it kind of looks better, I feel. If I, I, can, I feel like I can get it straight. Just gonna pull that through. Come on. Oh, I must have went through something. Piece of thread. It doesn't want to come through. Come through. Yep. Yep, I stitched through my thread, you guys. Never good. So, what we're gonna do, yeah. what we're gonna do to fix that, we gotta get the little sewing needle out. We don't need the big one, we need a little one. There we go. We're just gonna we usually do triple knots on the back. And we'll clip it. Give it a little lighter. There we go. All right, so we have the tag on. Now, I think with the back outer main facing right side up. Yep. On top with right sides together. Cha Ching. Now I just remember where this is. This is actually the center. This is actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I want to try to make sure that my Pac Man is chomping the right direction. So now. And I'm not going to clip the lining. I'm just going to... Oh, Kim, look what I did. I stitched it to the lining. I didn't think about that. It wouldn't be a so long live if Jenna didn't get the ripper out, you guys. <laughs> oh. It's not a big deal. It's just the wristlet tag. We don't want to sew our lining to the back. All right, we want to, so I'm going to have to redo this. I'm going to have to just sew that to the front. So let me, let me take care of that quick. 
my lining out of the way. We'll see these threads out. Okay. What type of pin cushion do you guys have? What's the shape of your pin cushion? I'd like to know. Um, the cupcake pin cushion that I have was actually made by my aunt. Um, it was a quilter. I've had it for a very long time. It's probably at least 15 years old. <laughs> Multiple rippers in various areas. Mm. Yes, <laughs> same. <laughs> All right, so now that I have that on where I want it, I'm going to just position this the way that I would like it. And now I'm going to clip my exterior to my other exterior, okay? I'm not clipping my lining to it. I also have a pin cushion that looks like a <clears throat> like a big comfy chair. Okay, and now remember you have your fold this folded here. So just pull that up so that you can get and clip where you want for the for the bottom lining, okay? So that way you're not don't you know, like don't clip it over like this. You want to make sure that you're where you need to be. Okay, and what, just to, just to keep in mind, we're gonna stitch from here around and stop, okay? Then we're gonna start again from here and go around and stop, okay? And uh, it is a quarter inch seam allowance that we're going to do. So this is where, if you're a new sewist, that this might feel a little tricky just to try to stay at your seam allowance that you want. Um, but just take your time. No one's, no one's having a race. I know that sometimes I get in habits where I'm like, I'm racing myself. And it's really, it's not a race. So I'm going to back stitch a little bit. Just to make sure it's tight there. I think that's why, like right now, with getting our backyard workshop going, I feel like. I'm so excited about it that I'm like stressing myself out about how slow it's going, but like, I knew that. I knew it was gonna be slow, right? You know? I'm just gonna go a little bit back and forth on my wristlet area just to reinforce that, okay? And then this is gonna require me to jump it. So I'm just gonna Put something here. Well, that's not high enough. There we go. We just have a lot going on this time of year and I think that's why I'm feeling the Feeling the stress. We're getting ready for our opening weekend for our two campsites. So we have two glamping sites here on the farm. 
Um, so our opening weekend is the 22nd. And so there's a mm. lot of work that goes involved in that. All right, so again, remember we stopped and now we're gonna come over here, flip that lining up, and now we're gonna do the same thing. Stop and start right where our line is for our zippers, okay? So we just gotta play with it and finagle it to get it in there. starting stuff right now like a lot of new a lot of new starting which can feel feel like a lot all right so we got that part done now okay let's see here now I need to remember that I need to open my zipper at least halfway because when we're ready to turn this, we need to be, be able to turn it. Okay, and now I, here I have my lining. So I'm gonna match that up with my lining, okay? And so the top we're going to stitch just like, you know, from the, from all the way around. But then the bottom we need to leave a little bit open. And what I did, Kim, even though this wasn't in your pattern, um, what I did is I actually kind of cut this square so that I could turn it um, like it. I'll show you. I need to get my other... Yeah, they're scissors though. So what I did here is I'm just gonna measure, I measured like five inches here in the bottom. Do I have a marking tool someplace? Someplace, someplace I have one. And then I went an inch up and I just did that. And so I'm gonna stop my stitches. I'm gonna back stitch here. And then I'm probably gonna cut this so that it folds. I don't have excess there is what I'm saying. All right, so now I'm just gonna fold this part over, okay? And this is where Kim, maybe, remember? I think my last one, I didn't do that, but I'm pretty sure you want us to stitch, I'm gonna show, you want us to stitch from here all the way around so that this lays flat, right? Maybe not, no. I'm trying to see if that, what that will do. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start our stitch here, come all the way around at a quarter of an inch. On the top, we're gonna do the entire thing, okay? And stop, all right? And at the on the lining, piece we're gonna stop at that five inch mark okay uh, you can't see what I'm showing here can you oh there we go so I start here over the zipper yes and stitching here from what I can see on the pattern I believe yes that is correct
Yeah. Hi, Diane. Thanks for joining us. I'm just double checking with Kim. Yes, started the zipper. I th I thought so, but you know, sometimes when you're doing something, I feel like I really shouldn't question myself. But maybe it's maybe it's because you're here, Kim. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this wrong. <laughs> I feel like sewing. I, I think it's one of the reasons I love to sew is I feel like you can't necessarily do a lot wrong. Like, it, it really isn't. I mean, you can, but it's always fixable. You can always fix it, right? For whatever you, like, as much as you want to work at it to fix it. So we're just doing a quarter inch from the zipper. We're on the top lining. stitches here all right and now we're gonna do the bottom lining but remember we're going we're not going to close it up all the way because we need to be able to flip it flip it around and I'm gonna put my markings over here as well Now we're gonna start, we're gonna try to get in there as best we can. Close to where the zipper starts, but not on the zipper. We don't wanna be on the zipper. And I need to mend the ditch here. stitch where we need to stop and then we're just going to bring it around here start again back stitch so if you're just tuning in over on my Facebook group I do have an event that you can go into and I'm going to be giving away this pouch to one person who knows a secret word. And when I saw this pouch, it immediately reminded me when I was little, my mom and her friend, they used to take me to the movies every Friday night. And after we were done at the movies, we would go for pizza. And the pizza place we would go to, that's the secret word. The name of it was Dominic's. Okay, so this is what I did on my lining. I just cut a straight line so that when I turn it, it's a nice, like I can fold it real nice and then it um, it just looks, it helped me deal with some bulk too. I'm gonna cut off my zipper ends now to get rid of that bulk. Okay, and now we're gonna turn this puppy right side out and we'll see we'll see how we did all right here I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you guys to me so we can see each other hi everybody thank you so the the velvet that I got from um so awesome supplies really it turns really nice like um just really looks nice when you start I feel like this would be such a great, um, like at Christmas time. Okay, so here's what I did last time. 
I'm noticing that I have it on this one. I'm going to have to come back in here. Maybe Kim can give us some pointers. I don't think I have it on this side. Looks good. This side looks good. We're going to just turn it all in there for now so we can see it like the finished result. need to get better at that part of the zipper and see I think maybe let's let me zip it up so that's good but see I don't have all my zipper in there like my end so I had to do that on my last one I think it's because I'm not getting I'm not going over that part good enough I'm not sure. So let me fix that quick. I think I'm afraid that I'm over, like if I sew over that, I'm going to be overlapping something. But I'm not. It's just that there's an opening there. So. Yeah. So that there sure that I have it all turned out so I can see it yeah I need to get I need to get further in there for the the zipper That is an easy fix. Oh, hey, thanks. Your membership to my to my Facebook group. I will definitely accept you as soon as we're done here. Yeah, my Facebook group is kind of, you know, things are evolving with me starting to dye my own fabrics. Um, I'm still gonna do the YouTube um, videos mostly lives over the summer just because with our campsites it's a lot to do recordings um and then edit them it's just i knew i wouldn't have a whole lot of time but next week's actually next week's video is actually going to be a recorded video um i don't know if any of you use canva um for if you have a crafty business or if you have your own little groups or um, even for like, if you do craft fairs and you need signage or, um, business cards, but, um, I'm going to be showing all of the new features that Canva Pro came out with. Um, so I'm going to just do like a little tutorial on Canva using Canva Pro. So let's stick this baby in there like so. Now we fixed it. Now we got it. Okay. And there it is. The pack pouch. So cute. I feel like I would take this over and give it like a good press. Like once I have it all, you know, really pushed out. Um, my favorite turning tool is the dollar store um little glass nail files because it has like this nice little rounded end next week i'm fully booked but that will be a very useful and i'll catch it on replay yes yeah, so that will be recorded so you'll be able to to catch it it won't it's not going to be a super long one i'm going to try um to keep it short and sweet but there's the back and then i'm going to add my little wristlet here so that's my little wristlet. I'm gonna just clamp my little key fob. Um, so because this is such a cute pattern. Again, like I said, there's so many ways that I think 
like with fabrics, you could do so many different little fun. I really think we need to do a taco one. Someone, someone needs to do a taco one. All right, what I'm gonna do while we're standing here chitty chatting, if you guys have any questions um, for me about, you know, our farm, my sewing, the fabrics that I'm starting to design and, and dye myself, feel free to pop them in the comments. Um, I do have, when you join my group, um, pinned to the top of the page if you wanna be a part of the launches for my fabric, um, definitely sign up for my email list because people on my email list will be the first to know when my fabric launches. And a lot of my fabric, because it is hand dyed, will be short runs of fabric at first. I'm not, I, I can't, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me and Apollo, but Apollo doesn't know how to, to dye, to dye fabric. So he'll, he'll just be an, uh, an observer. <laughs> so Cindy says, I have a great taco pattern on my embroidery machine. I love it, but I haven't had time to sew it out yet. Oh, embroidery girls. I used to have an embroidery machine and I think I shared this. That was back in the day when there wasn't YouTube. And uh, I live, I live in kind of, it's interesting. I live in somewhat of an, I'm gonna say art sewing desert. So like sewing as an art is not really something that is very active around here. At least that I, that I mm. ever knew. Um, so. But that sounds cute. Yeah, so I sold my embroidery machine. There are there are moments where I feel like I could kick myself that I that I sold it. But just pushing this down to make it look nice. disturb on so I'm sorry about that when I sat down okay there she is oh my goodness it's so cute someone needs to do taco fabric because I don't have the time to do taco fabric oh Pleasant Point New Jersey how's New Jersey day it's gorgeous here in Pennsylvania I feel like we're gonna we're gonna start having nice weather yay I'm just kind of getting my ends here to look nice. Oh, so good. So again, if you join my Facebook group, this is kind of what, what I'm going to start doing just because I'm no longer going to be doing, I used to do a lot of shop drops with a, a lot of my um, like handmade items and I just don't have the time to do that. Um, but I want to still make all these cute things. So I always do a tester. So this is the one I did as my tester of this pattern. Um, and so, and then I'll do the one that we're doing here live together. So what I'll do is I am going to do a giveaway as long as you join my group. Uh, and then there is an event in my group. It's pinned to the top of the page. Um, and I'll always have a pin post that kind of has like a secret word. Uh, and so my secret word for this um, so along live is Dominix, uh, and the reason, and you, I don't care how you spell it as long as you have it some, somewhere close, but the reason it's Dominix is because growing up, my mom and my mom and dad, they're divorced. Um, and so growing up my mom, every Friday night, it was my mom's time and her and her friend would come pick me up. We'd go to the movies and we'd go to Dominic's pizzeria for pizza and Dominic's always had video games. They always had like pinball machines and, um, they did have Miss Pac-Man Man for a while. One of my favorites was they had a pinball that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because um, I am definitely an 80s kid. 
Uh, so I love this fabric. I love that this is what Katie chose to do for the freaking fabulous fabric club. Um, it, ca it came with so many other cute other prints. I do have a link. So I know she has some more retail um, for the um, Pac-Man prints. Um, but if you're not in the fabric club, I highly suggest doing it uh, and also grabbing Kim's pattern um, because it's so cute and I, I just think there's so many other things. There's so many other things you could do with this to make it fun. I saw in her group there like someone had like dinosaurs and tacos. Like I feel it is again, like she said um, earlier, it's such a good pat like a starter pattern. I feel like this would be really great for kids who want to learn how to sew. Um, and it teaches them a couple different fun things. So definitely check it out. So yes, dominoes was a big thing um, during that time. But um, yeah, there's limited retail of it available. But I know she, she'll have it on pre-order too. So if you don't get it, the retail, you can still get the pre-order. But if, if you want to make this now, which I would think most of us want to make it now, <laughs> um, you want to go over and grab that retail from her. And that link is in the details. Um. Yeah. Yeah, no. So good. I feel it's so funny because my kids, like now we have several pizza places in our area and Dominic's does not deliver. The place in my hometown does not deliver. Um, and so because we live out in the boonies, um, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to drive to go get pizza, right? But there are, there are some moments, and the Dominic's is right near my kid's school. So sometimes when I pick up my kids and I smell the aroma, it's like, oh, it takes me back to being eight and wearing my spandex neon. <laughs> um, and then I need to stop and I need to grab a pizza from Dominic's instead of doing one of our other pizza shops. So that is the word, Dominic's. Um, and please, please go get... Go get the pattern. Go get this fabric. Um, so cute. And retro is so in. Like, this is the thing. 80s kids have money now. <laughs> we have disposable income. So um, I feel like I'm seeing more and more of the 80s stuff. Like, actually, before I did this live, I saw that American Girl has strawberry shortcake stuff um, for American Girl dolls. So it's everywhere. Retro is in. So go for it. Thank you all for joining me, Kim. Thank you for sharing this in your group. Um, I hope I get to know um, some more of you ladies and gents um, who are coming uh, to my sew alongs. Next week's video, like I said, will be sharing with you all of the different um, Canva Pro new features. Um, so that will be a recorded video. So it'll be, I'll make it kind of concise, but hopefully like help you guys learn how to use some of those new features. And then the last video of this month is a sneak peek um, of something um, from one of my besties for next month. And it's a really great pattern. My Patreons um, do find out what patterns I'm doing a month in advance. Um, all that information is over uh, on my Facebook group. And please share your makes um, over in the Facebook group. I love seeing them. So have a great day. And remember that crafting is the healing part. Slow down a little bit. Feel yourself breathing. You're not in a race. No one's uh, making you um, pump these out, you know, by the hundreds. Enjoy your sewing. Enjoy your crafting. And I'll see you all real soon.